My name is uh, Denis Van Ellewijk. Um, I'm the co-founder of uh, Ensoulings Brewery uh, right in Brussels. So Ensoulings was uh, first created in uh, 2014 and uh, was moved three years ago into uh, Laken, um, which is now the, the biggest space that we have uh, to brew beer. Um, we managed to brew some uh, craft Belgian styles beer. What's your capacity now and uh, how long ago did you start? Were you, were you so at first we were brewing to, um, in, in the, the neighborhood called the Marol. So it's a tiny neighborhood, but genuine uh, in Brussels. So um, we were like doing some um, 300 hectoliters per year. It was all manual, it was really hard. Uh, we were too to, to brew. Um, and since then, so we moved in here to do um, approximately 1600 uh, hectoliters a year. Unfortunately, we have the pandemic that uh, has been sitting around, so it's going to be less this year, but the capacity of the brewery is around 2,500 hectoliters a year. So we are really nice. <laughs> now we are currently eight people. Um, so two buses, uh, we have um, all the production aspects and then all the logistical aspects as well. So it really works fine uh, for us. Our market is principal, uh, principally based in Brussels. Uh, because we really wanted to enhance the, the Brussels side of uh, the, the beers. Uh, because at first there, there were only Cantillon and Brasil de la Seine. Then you, you got Brussels Beer Project that came along, then us, Hermitage and so on. And we really wanted to, um, to, to make a, um, a plus-value uh, in Brussels. Now we are searching for the Flanders and Wallonia as well, so all Belgium, but principal in Brussels, and a little bit of export. But once again, with the pandemic, it's really hard to export now. So yeah. uh, the first thing, the first beer that we, we ever brewed um, is a Vienna-based beer, uh, top fermentation, really Belgian style. And uh, that's what we wanted to aim, a low alcohol profile beer to hit the most, uh, the most people young, uh, elderly, um, women, men, everybody. And it's quite the, the best seller of the brewery right now. Um, and what we do propose now is, uh, is several beers uh, for all the tastes. Um, it's genuine traditional beer styles, but with a, a twist. So when you are encountering a, a blonde ale, for example, we are going to pitch in some uh, other spice, but other, uh, I don't know, uh, yeast, something like this, to just make it spicier. Uh, not in the spicy term of the, the word, but spicier, you know, like uh, original. And now I would say that there are like uh, seven, eight big, uh, big breweries, and um, it's a completion because first you have Cantillon, that is really like a genuine, uh, really soury product. Then you have La Seine with a typical like, uh, yeast, so uh, you can really recognize easily the La Seine products. Then you have uh, the neighbors, uh, no science, really like uh, on the hops. We are mainly on the malt and, and spices and so on. So every brewery has its own fashion. And I think it's really beautiful to have a completion and we are all, all together to make something good. So we have literally uh, different kinds of uh, people drinking our beers, but it's a completion, so it's really nice. So where do you hope to go from here? Um, now, we are hoping to just increase a little bit of, of the volume. Um, I don't wish to, to make uh, 15,000 liters a year one day, or to become in Bev, like so many say. I want to keep it simple, uh, familial, increase of course, be, uh, be a good and healthy enterprise. And uh, what I'm willing to make now is uh, on the quality, on the diversity of the beers, um, and, and just, you know, be like an horizontal evolution and not always vertical to grow, to grow, to grow. So that's my aim. My, my background um, is uh, an archaeologist, and uh, my friend, so the co founder, uh, w used to, to work in the video games in India and then uh, in Belgium. And, um, and so one day we, we just we stuck together and were wondering, wow, you don't do nothing. For myself, I was like taking courses to be a, to be a brewer. And we just liked the idea to, to begin something, 
an enterprise. And as I said, they were like only Cantillon and Brasilia Sen, and we were like, hey, eh, let's give it a try. And so on, we are just in here with a big brewery, uh, five years old, so it's really nice. What's your strategy during COVID? So the, the, the first strategy that we had um, wasn't a strategy, it was just like a reaction, uh, basically. And we, uh, we just said like, okay, we are um, on pause uh, in the business, in production. And we had all the beers in, in the, the brewery and we didn't know to, what to do with them. And so we started calling some friends, uh, do you want some beers to help us um, on left and right? And it picked up really quickly, so um, we, it escalated so, so quickly. So we asked um, uh, bike delivers, delivery guys to, to help us and we managed to, to make an e-shop uh, and so on and so on. And now we have a, a steady e-shop that, that's really good with logistics and stuff. We can propose some beers. We also propose beers from other breweries. So we have a pack with th six uh, other breweries to, to, to help each other. So, so now the strategy for, for Corona is, is this. Uh, I think it's going to be e-shop uh, more likely. I guess you're going to continue that. A lot of breweries are finding, hey, this is another market and people do like drinking at home as well, even for now. Yeah, do you yeah. think that will continue? I mean, it forced you into yeah. doing that anyway. Right? I think the, as the world is changing, um, you have to, to tag along. Otherwise, uh, you'll be left alone as, uh, aside. Uh, that's what we did with the eShop. And uh, I think all the breweries are doing as well because uh, of the restriction by, by the government. So it's really hard, I think, for the consumer to change his habits. But if it persists, well, the government uh, laws and stuff, if it persists, I think it's going to be changed in the, the long term, but it's going to change. But I think and I hope that uh, all the restaurants and the bars will be open soon again and that we can do both, like deliveries at home and drinking beers with the pals and the gals. So. And were you able to keep everybody employed or did you have to kind of slow we, down or did you yeah. help from the government? Or? We had some slowdowns at uh, the first confinement. Do you say confinement? Yeah. At uh, the first confinement, we had um, we had a freezing of the, the, the business. And uh, the thing is that uh, all deliveries uh, went so good that we had to rehire everybody. So it, wa it lasted only three weeks of uh, no thing, nothing, no work. So that's quite good. Uh, doesn't mean that it's going really well for us because um, all the Oreca is not is not live, so we cannot compensate only with the e-shop. Uh, but it's nice to have some support and people always drinking beer, so, so that's it.